Hi, everyone. Some people will subtract 7 minus 5 and they'll write 2, right? Because 7 take away 5 equals 2. So they'll write 2. Bring down the times 5 down, the division symbol down, and the 2 down. Then they'll multiply 2 times 5, which equals 10. And bring down the division symbol down and the 2 down. And some people will write this 10 divided by 2 in a fraction form. And knowing that both numbers are even, they'll break it in half or divide. 10 divided by 2 equals 5 over 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And we all know 5 over 1 equals 5. So the answer is 5. And that is so wrong. Let me show you how to solve this math problem correctly using PAMDAS. And PAMDAS is telling me that we multiply 5 times 5. So we do multiplication first, not subtraction. So let's go ahead and multiply 5 times 5, which equals 25. So I'll write 25. Bring down the 7 minus, like this. And then bring down the division symbol down and the 2 down. Now we're looking at 7 minus 25 divided by 2. And looking at PEMDAS again, we're not subtracting. We are dividing. So we're going to write 25 divided by 2 in a fraction form like this. 25 over 2. And then bring down the 7 in a fraction form to make the math easy. So I'll write it like this, 7 over 1. And we all know 7 over 1 equals 7 does not change to 7. So now we're looking at 7 over 1 minus 25 over 2. And we're going to use the butterfly method. So we'll draw the first wing like this. Oops. 7 times 2. We're not subtracting. When using the butterfly method, we are multiplying. 7 times 2, or 2 times 7, equals what? 14. So I'll write the 14 right there and draw the antenna. Next, let's draw the next wing like this. And we multiply <clears throat> 1 times 25, or 25 times 1, equals what? 25. So I'll draw the antenna and draw the 25. Or write the 25 right there. Next, we need the body of the butterfly. So that's the body. And 1 times 2 equals what? Or 2 times 1 equals 2. So we write the 2 at the bottom of this fraction bar. That is called the denominator. And next, we are going to subtract 14 minus 25, so the answer will be a negative. And let's subtract 25 minus 14, so we just rotated it. <laughs> so just like that, we know the answer is going to be negative. And so 5 minus 4 equals what? 1. 5 take away 4 equals 1. And 2 minus 1 equals 1, right? So the answer is negative 11. So I'll write negative 11 there. And for space, let's write it a little bigger here. So negative 11 over 2. Let's get a decimal answer and a mixed number answer. Right now we have a an improper fraction answer. So that's the first answer. We need two more answers, two <laughs> different answers. Let's use long division to solve those two. So that is the long division bar or symbol. And the 11 is your dividend, so that it goes inside the long division symbol. And then the 2 is the divisor, so it goes outside the long division symbol. And how many times can 2 fit into 11? 5 times, right? So I'll write 5, multiply, 5 times 2 equals 10, and we subtract 11 minus 10 equals 1. So we can write the... Mixed number answer, so 5 is the whole number, the remainder, which is 1, 
goes on top of the proper fraction, and then the two goes at the bottom of the fraction there. So we have five one half, or one over two, or half, five half, um, five and one half, or whatever you, however you want to call it, five and one over two. And let me box that up for you. That's the second answer. Let's continue solving the, well, dividing, finish dividing this problem here. We know the answer is going to be, oh, and this has to be negative, sorry. Negative 5, 1 over 2. So our decimal answer is going to be negative 5.5, but let's finish the long division here. So how many times can 2 fit into 1? You cannot, so I draw or write a decimal after the 11, and a decimal after the 5, write a 0, bring down the 0, give bring down the zero down and give it to the one. So one becomes 10. And how many times can two fit into 10? Five times, right? And five times two equals 10. And we subtract 10 minus 10 equals what? Zero. So your answer is negative 5.5. Look at that. We have three different answers. We have negative 5.5, negative 5, 1 over 2. And lastly, negative 11 over 2. And there you go. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to join the smartest community on YouTube. Let's go. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.